Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Group Policy Preferences to manage file associations, and then Policy Pack on how to manage the actual application itself. In this case, we're going to be using uh, Windows Media Player. So let's set the stage. The question I got from somebody was, hey, listen, let's say I've got uh, Windows Media Player built into the operating system, and I have another media player like VLC Media Player. You can see I've got an AVI movie here, and it's running with Windows Media Player. Okay, so if I go to Help About, you can see it's Media Player. If I go to the MP4, uh-oh, it's running with some alternate program. And the reader asked, is there any way to reassociate my mp4 files with Windows Media Player. Now, this should be easy to do in Group Policy Preferences, but there's a bug. So let's go through it end to end. I'll show you the bug and then I'll show you the workaround. So it's a handful of steps, so try to stick with me. So the first thing we're going to do, again, is try to represent the bug. The bug would be if you try to create a new GPO here, and let's go and call this uh, manage, I'll call this AAA files. Um, with Windows Media Player. Now, you've never heard of an AAA file because it doesn't exist. I'm, I'm making it up. But we're going to use this as a starting point. So under User Side, Preferences, under Folder Options, I'm going to go to New, Open With. Okay, so Folder Options, New, Open With. And I'm going to select my extension of AAA, and I'm going to make it uh, Windows Media Player. Just so I don't make any mistakes, I've already copied and pasted it right there. So this is uh, going to dictate AAA files to Windows Media Player. But you've never heard of Windows Media, uh, you've never heard of that before, so no problem. Let's just prove a point here. If I create a new text file, and I call this uh, hello, instead of text, I'll call it AAA, okay? When you do this, it doesn't associate with anything. So far, so good. What we've said is, using group policy preferences for all of my West Sales users, let's make sure I've got that right, for all of my West Sales users, we want to manage AAA files uh, with group policy preferences. So if I run GP update here, what you should see happen is that when I try to click on AAA, it's going to, uh, the hello.aaa, it's going to try to open up Windows Media Player. Let's see if that part actually uh, tries to work. So, boom, you can see Windows Media Player does in fact say, listen, I, I see the file, I don't know what to do with it, of course it's not a real file, but you can see that instead of prompting for what to do, it knew what to do and went to Windows Media Player. Okay, so far so good. So that part works. So now what we want to do is let's take it to the next level. We know that we've got MP4 and we know that it's currently associated, uh, the user associated with VLC. We want to rip that away and make that uh, work for Windows Media Player. So you'd think that you would do the exact same thing. So let's, let's do this. We'll just go ahead and create a new uh, open with and let's replace, okay, if there's anything already there for MP4 and we want to associate that to Windows Media Player. This should work, okay? This should work. We, we know there is an MP4 type. We know we want it to work with Windows Media Player. This should work, and if it exists already, we're going to replace that. Fine. Okay, there we go. Success there. Good. Now, you would hope that it would just simply open up this MP4 player, uh, MP4 file in Windows Media Player, but it doesn't. It continues to go to uh, VLC Media Player. This is almost certainly a group policy preferences bug, and I'm getting to the bottom of it, but in the meantime, I've got a little workaround. So the workaround is, let me go back over here, all right? Actually, before we do that, let me show you what it did correctly. If I go to the registry here, and I look up HKEY Current User Software Microsoft Windows current version, and I look for AAA here, you can see, let's try to understand what it did correctly. What it did was this idea called AAA user choice had this thing called prog ID where it put in applications backslash WM player. So when this occurs, okay, uh, magic happens, all right? So I was able to figure this out, and because of that, I can deliver that using group policy preferences to MP4, for which for whatever reason, isn't picking it up. If I go to 
open with, it says VLC. That's wrong. It shouldn't do that anymore. Uh, that still says VLC. And user choice, that still says VLC. So if I can convince the this portion of the registry to accept the right value for uh, Windows Media Player, I should just be able to get it to work. So let's see if I can do that. So uh, I don't need this stuff anymore, but I'll go ahead and just, uh, I'll delete the group policy object link here. What I'll do is I will now manually set MP4 player using group policy preferences. Okay. So uh, again, I don't know why there appears to be a bug. It's not such a big deal, but uh, this is a little bit of a workaround. So now what we'll do is we'll go to registry and go to a new registry item. And we want to pick HK current user. And the place that we want is this user choice. So I'm going to copy the key name here. Okay, and I'm going to paste that in here. All right, make sure we don't need that twice. That would be a that would be an error. Okay, current version user choice. We know that what we're trying to deliver is this thing called prog ID. Okay, so we can type in prog ID. And uh, let's look at what it did when it did it correctly for the AAA file. It made um, well, it said applications WM player. So I'm going to copy that guy, go back to the group policy preferences and paste boom that right into the entry. So now I'm zapping in that particular guy right there. Okay. I'm updating it. So it's going to deliver that no matter what, what it's currently set to. So let's, let's watch it happen all in real time. Whoops. Let's watch it in real time. We'll go down to MP4 mp4 here we go user choice just to prove i'm not pulling a fast one on you here you'll see me i'm running it i'm currently running vlc media player now what i'll do is i will run gp update here and the expectation is that user choice is going to flip from vlc to windows media player and when it does that boom now when i run the mp4 file there you go I have Windows Media Player right there. Okay, so I hope I know that was a little long, uh, but I hope that that gets to the part uh, to the uh, to the heart of the matter. Okay, well that's part one. But what if you've got uh, you know you want to manage this application settings? If you go to Tools Options, there's a lot of security and privacy items that you may want to dictate using Group Policy and guarantee those settings using. Policy pack. So, with that in mind, let me show you how to do that. It's super duper simple. We'll go ahead and we'll just close all this stuff out. And actually, I'll leave the um, the folder there for reference in a moment. So, what we'll do is we'll go over to our group policy object. You can use the same group policy object. That's fine. And then we'll dictate inside of policy pack applications. Right click new application and. Policy Pack has over 200 application plugins or packs that you can snap right in and get started with right away. The one we're going to use is Windows Media Player, but you can see things like Firefox, Flash, Java, Skype, uh, Office, all sorts of uh, applications that you know you have and you know you need to make more secure. So here's Windows Media Player. We'll go ahead and click on it. And uh, look at that. It looks just like the actual application itself. No, uh, no brain power required. So let's head right on over to say privacy for fun. And let's, um, we probably don't want Microsoft to get all of our uh, customer experience stuff. So we'll uncheck that. So we're going to deliver uncheck and right click while we're here and disable the corresponding control in the target application. So users can't work around this setting in the GUI. So we'll just uncheck that guy. And then what we'll do is we'll dive down under, uh, we want to, let's use, um, well, maybe we also don't want to set clock on devices automatically. I have no idea what that does, but I don't like the idea of it. So I'm going to uncheck that and also disable the corresponding control. Um, while I'm here also, I do want to download usage rights automatically. And while I'm here, I also want to disable that setting as well. So I'm, I'm ensuring that users can't use the GUI to, to work around those settings. But while I'm here, I can also right click and perform ACL lockdown. And if you perform ACL lockdown, users can't modify it, even if they have registry savvy wits about them. So we're guaranteeing that these settings are, are, are preserved and are maintained even if the user goes offline. And for burn, let's make sure this stuff is just not even available. We'll just right click over and disable 
the whole tab in the target application, just so there's, they're not tempted to deal with that. And we'll click OK. All right, so we've locked and loaded the directive inside the same exact group policy object we used. So that's kind of nice. I like the idea of like looking to have one wish that does uh, these things about Windows Media Player. And so let us uh, let me just prove I'm not pulling a fast one on you here. If I go back to uh, Tools, Options, and I look at Burn so far, Policy Pack hasn't done its thing. If I go to Privacy, Policy Pack hasn't done its thing here either. So let's go ahead and close that out. We'll go ahead and now run GP Update. And the point is, is that Policy Pack is receiving the directive from Group Policy, performing your desired result and maintaining your security about this application. I happen to be using Windows Media Player, but again, I could be using just about anything else. So let's go ahead and take a look. If we now uh, go to Tools, Options here, boom, you can see the Burn tab is not available to click on. And if I click on Privacy here, you can see that I've, I've delivered download usage rights automatically when I play or sync a file. I've unchecked and locked down set lock clock on devices automatically, and I've unchecked sending usage things to Microsoft. So uh, I don't have uh, more time to go into all that Policyback can do here. I highly recommend you come to our webinars that happen several times a week. Just go to policypak.com, click on the webinar download button on the right, sign up for the webinar, and if you like what you see, you can download Policypack and you can be trialing same day. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.